motor skills. Look, old man, I thought I told you to bug off. No, you bug off. Oh, never mind. Goodbye. I quit. Well, thank heavens he's gone, Snuck. But now what am I supposed to do? Look on the bright side, Captain. What bright side? I'm employed as a human target. True, but at least you can still make the big score. Incoming! I don't understand what we're doing here. I mean, you're not a wizard, and you're certainly not a warrior, and the only thing you have in common with a dragon is your breath. You have been in a few dungeons, I suppose. Ah, snuck, snuck, snuckity snuck. You really don't get it, do you? One of the ways to stay ahead in the pirate game is to be in the know. I'm here to see what my adversaries are doing. I'll observe the new devices and ideas, and with any luck, steal them. Oh, right. Next! Name! No thanks, I already have one. What are your names? Oh, yes, of course. I'm Mad Jack, and this is, uh, Snuck. Thank you. <laughs> Clever device. But if I confuse it with my antiperspirant, it would knock me into next Tuesday. Ooh, something smells delicious. We've no time to eat. We're here on business. Hello. Oh, hi. Good to see you. No, nincompoop. I meant hello in the I see something I find terribly interesting way. Oh, what is it? That wizard's wand. Why, with a magical device like that, I could do all sorts of unspeakable things. You already do all sorts of unspeakable things. Either way, I must have that wand. I say, that is quite an interesting wand you've got there. Why, thank you, Mr. Uh... Oh, my goodness. They've misspelled magic. It says Mad Jack. But his name is... Yes, isn't that stupid? I'm Magic, uh, Johnson. Nice to meet you. So, magician to magician. How much is that lovely wand? No, that wand isn't for sale. It's only here on display. I'm saving it because he who holds this magical stick, the Enchantress Victoria will take to. Quick. The Enchantress Victoria? Yes, she lives yon through the canals of yore in the castle of 999 delights. Uh, what happened to number 1000? Turns out that one uh, hurt a little bit. But you dare not venture to the castle, for it is guarded by the temptresses of temptation. Only he that possesses the wand can know her magnificent pleasures. <laughs> but even he must be wary, for misuse of the wand can be a treacherous thing indeed. <laughs> oh, okay, well, if it's not for sale, then good day, my grotesquely unshorn friend. And good day to you, Magic Johnson. I am very proud of you, sir. That was exceptional self-control. He said no, and you walked away. Like a gentleman you were. We're going back to steal it, you clueless vermin. And here's how we'll do it. Hello, kindly wizard. I'm Snuckalina, one of the Enchantress Victoria's temptresses of temptation. Oh, I see. Her Highness, the Enchantress Victoria, has asked me to stop by and tempt you. <laughs> As I am a temptress in all, with the dance of six veils. And a sock. Well, if you must. Rush hour? Oh, I've seen this grumble gas canal traffic before. It could take hours to get to the castle of 999 delights. Hours? Snuck, remove the wand from its case. I'm going to get us out of this traffic by magic. But the wizard said that. Catch it! Here you are, sir. Ah! Now, I don't know much about magic, but if memory serves, the spells usually rhyme. Okay, I've got a good one. Make the sea chicken thin among these ships that I may taste my enchantress's lips. Oh, that was very good, sir. Thank you. Uh-oh, 
exact change. I don't think I have any. Not to have any change? Nay. Nothing? No doubloons? Pieces of eight? Hey, pennies? Gilder? Franks? Bot? Dingots? Breath mints? Of all the luck. Wait! The wand! Magic wand, no change have I. Lift the gate as we slide by. How do you like them apples, eh? Snuck, this wand is magnificent. Sir, sir, I see it. We've arrived. Would you stop making so much noise? I think I figured out the problem with this wand. It's about a quart low. Yes, but sir, look. We've arrived. Not quite the temptresses I was expecting. Not over there, over there. Good heavens! Snuck, prepare to go ashore. Aye, aye, sir. Ready, sir. Yes, I suppose you are. I, however, must look far more presentable. So let's have another go at Mr. Magic Stick. Place me near the enchantress's lair, but make me look more tasteful. I pray, dear wand, please clothe me in fashions far more graceful. <laughs> I must apologize for my twin brother, uh, Quentin. Good morrow, ladies. I am Jack, Mad Jack. I seek audience with Her Majesty the Enchantress Victoria. Well, you might as well get right back on your boat. The Enchantress will only see he who bears the wand. Oh, I see. Voila! <gasps> now open the drawbridge. I have almost a thousand delights to sample, and that could take some time. It's true. Thirty-two flavors of ice cream took him a whole week. You must use the wand's magic to open the door, you silly pirate guy. Are you sure there's no way you'll just, you know, open it? Mm -hmm. Oh, all right, then. Open the door, one no mind, that I might see the Enchantress fine. <laughs> right, let's have another go. Open the door, old one. Open the... Take a wild guess and say pleasure is not in that direction. I sense the Enchantress Victoria is near. Is it your cunning pirate's intuition? No, it's that. Okay, Snuck, open it. I'll stand over there and strike a valiant pose so as to impress her with the very sight of me. Yes, sir. Okay, okay, I'll do it. Here, hold this. Hello, Tiger. No! Wait, hold it! He's not the bearer of the magic wand! I am the bearer of the magic wand! Ooh, that sounds fine to me. Oh, baby, I hope you're ready. Hold it, I thought this was the castle of 999 delights! Oh, it is. But it's 999 things that you like me. And number one on my list is to suck out your brains with a straw! Sir, I'm having a little trouble here. I was trying to list all 999 delights. Now, was number 52 the toenail removal? No, no, 52 is plain twister with the, the mongoose. The toenail removal is 17. Ah, then what was the tongue knotting? That was... Uh, 44. Or was it 8? <laughs> it's colder than a tax collector's smile out here, Snuck. Come on, mush! Are we, we, we there yet, Cap'n? 
All this trouble to deliver an ice cream maker. What do they want with ice cream out here anyway? Everything's frozen. Why are we doing this? Well, we didn't have the rent for the sea chicken again, and Sharkface Willie said either we deliver the ice cream maker to his friend the Snow Sultan, or have our heads yanked off and kicked into the sewer. Oh, yes, that was it. Blech. I don't know what people find alluring in ice cream. Yuck! Could I come up there and warm my p p p p p Yes, you're what, Snuck? My p p p p p p p p p sir. Oh, all right, but do hurry up, Snuck. The less time spent in this frozen wasteland, the better. Captain, there's some very strange carrots following the ship. What? What the heck are you talking about, Snuck? Is your brain frozen? <laughs> hey, you're supposed to say permission to come aboard before you... Block, Snook. No time for that now, Captain. The snow trolls have stolen the ice cream maker. Whatever will we tell the snow sultan? You know, Snook, it's times like these, when the devil gives you a Melvin, that force you to face the grim reality of reality, and you must. Beg forgiveness and hope that the mercy of others will save you? No. Lie, of course. <laughs> ah, Mad Jack the Pirate. My very good friend, Sharkface Willie, told me you would be arriving. Welcome. Welcome to my snow palace. I trust your, uh, cargo is intact? Well, you just hold on to that thought, Senor Sultan. Any chance of eating first? We're starving. But of course. Come, follow me. I have prepared a banquet in your honor. I'm starving. Ah, nothing like a good meal before doing business, eh, Mad Jack? Yes, yes, but if you don't mind, I'd like to catch a little shut-eye before I do any business. Very well. My guards will be happy to show you to your quarters. After I have received my ice cream maker. Oh, really? You have no idea how happy the ice cream maker will make my people. Well, that's very benevolent of you, but I really am sleepy. <sighs> Let's take care of this in the morning. Why do you delay in giving me my ice cream maker? It is now dessert time. The people demand it. I scream for ice cream. We, we all scream, scream for ice cream. I scream, you scream. We all scream for ice cream. Come on, Snuck. Let's go fetch the ice cream maker. Well, we can't really fetch it, Captain, because those snow trolls took it from us. What? The snow trolls? Aha! That explains all. That is why you delay in giving me my ice cream maker. The snow trolls have it. Well, yes, they have it now. I mean, they borrowed it, sort of. I'm sure they'll give it back to you if you were to ask them nicely. Oh! And don't come back until you have that ice cream maker. And if you don't find it in a few hours, you won't come back at all. You will find the nights here quite cold indeed. Snuck, I, 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 freezing. Give me your clothes. Oh, but sir. Come on. All right, we'll we'll flip a coin. And if I win, I get to keep my clothes. 
Yes, yes, yes. Well, all right. Here we are. Call it. Tails. Well, it was heads when it hit. Hand over your clothes. You sure it was heads? Yes! Well, all right, so long as I haven't been cheated. Doom. We're doomed. We're never going to make it out of here. What a way to go. Frozen to death in an icy cartoon wasteland. Of all the horrible twists of fate I've had, I think this is the worst, Snuck. Well, there were the violent poodles of Beeb Island, sir. Well, yes, but we survived that one. This one, I see no way out except an icy grave. I mean, how can you find three snow trolls made of snow when everything is made of snow as far as the eye can see? Riddle me that one. How? 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 What? Did you say what, sir? Did you find some thing? Look, those big ice cube heads have a mailbox. <laughs> of all the idiotic things. Well, Snuck. As soon as you're done being held upside down by that snow troll, we can sneak into their lair and... That was extremely clever of you, finding the snow trolls like that, Captain. <laughs> yeah, me. Captain, what are they gonna do to us? Well, a wild guess would be eat us. First, I think they'll freeze us to death, then eat us. Tch. Of all the ways to go, served as an uncooked TV dinner for a bunch of meat-eating ice cubes. Too bad. I bet we'd taste much better barbecued. Well, of course we would, but hey... That just gave me a brilliant idea. So you're going to eat us, eh? Mm-hmm. <laughs> just frozen, I suppose. <laughs> so you've never had barbecue, have you? <laughs> well, it's the only way to cook human flesh. It's a real tasty treat. You thought that ice cream was something. Ho <laughs> ho! You don't know what you're missing, my frozen-headed friend. <laughs> The only thing missing is the barbecue. What about this, Captain? Excellent. Now gather round, gather round. Don't be bashful. Now we'll just and thusly. Closer for a better look. Uh. Well, so much for the snow trolls. That was a brilliant idea for saving us and our lives, too, Captain. Yes, wasn't it? Now, gather up the ice cream maker and let's get it back to the snow sultan. Oh, no, sir. The trolls ate all the ice cream stuff. Mm, that's awkward. Just add water. That gives me an idea. Uh.